A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elim and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai. On the fifteenth day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into the desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them, to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourself before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, In the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a Jew lay all about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given to you to eat. Responsorial Psalm The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, for he sent them in abundance. He steered up the east wind in the heavens, and by his power, brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The same day went Jesus out of the house, and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. 
And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. If we try to evaluate ourselves, what kind of persons are we? Do we always complain? Are we never satisfied of anything in life? Or are we always grateful to what we have, be it big or small? In today's first reading, we are told that after God saved the Israelites from the slavery of the Egyptians, after being led by God to cross the sea through His miracle, after being defended by God from the Egyptian armies, the Israelites were not grateful to God. Instead of thanking God for the new life He had given them, they failed to recognize God's love for them. Instead, they complained to Moses because they were hungry and they did not have anything to eat. As a loving father, God provided them their food and they were happy, but they failed to follow God's instructions. They accepted what God offered them, but they did not follow God's words. In today's Gospel, Jesus taught the parable about the sower who sowed the seed, and the seeds, which represent the Word of God, fell into the different kinds of soil, that is, the different kinds of persons' hearts. Some seeds fell on the rocky ground so that the seeds cannot grow well, while other seeds fell on the good soil and they were able to grow well and bear much fruit. Evidently, the hearts of the Israelites are like the rocky ground which heard God's word through Moses and Aaron, but they did not listen to it. And so, instead of being grateful to God, they always complained. What's the difference between the Israelites and us? Perhaps when we receive the blessing, we never forget to thank God, which is a very good attitude. We even go to church and light candles as a thanksgiving, but this is just a sign of our gratitude to God. God continues to ask us to heed His call through the events of our lives, to listen to Him, and to incarnate His words in a way we live. Every day of our life is a new life, a chance to start all over again after failing the previous day. God is a good God who never gets tired of giving us another chance. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on our lives. You have provided us with more than we could ever have imagined. You have surrounded us with people who always look out for us. You have given us the family and friends 
who bless us every day with kind words and actions. They lift us up in many ways that keep our eyes focused on you and make our spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe. You protected us from those things that seem to haunt others. You helped us make better choices and provide us with advisors to help us with life's difficult decisions. You speak to us in so many ways so that we always know you are here. Lord, we are so grateful for keeping those around us safe and loved. We hope that you provide us with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. We hope that you give us the ability to give to them the same kindness they have provided us. We are extremely grateful for all your blessings in our lives, Lord. We pray that you remind of just how blessed we are and that you are never allow us to forget to show our gratitude in prayer and return acts of kindness. Amen. <music>